So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we will cover the lab a lot of you guys were facing issue on this lab so here is the updated solution for it. So first of all click on start lab now open cloud console incognito window now in my case it is getting signed in automatically we prompted to enter the username and password check the lab for it. Now if you are new to this channel like the video and subscribe the channel now click on I understand. So basically this lab is very easy I don't know why you are facing such issues. But still I have created a new solution for it. So let's get started. So now here you have to click on I understand. And then I click on I agree and continue. Now we will open Vertex AI workbench. So as you can see here is the way how to open. So just type on the search box workbench. Now select the one with Vertex AI, not with Data Proc. You have to click on Vertex AI. So now here we will be opening the Jupyter Lab. So click on Open Jupyter Lab. This will take some time. After that, we'll move forward to the next step. Now from here, you have to open the Intro Gemini file. So let me show you how you will open it. So click on it. Now here you have to select the kernel as python 3. Let's activate the python 3 as kernel and click on select. Now wait for the kernel status to go idle. So it will take some time you need to wait for it. Wait for a few more seconds. So as you can see the kernel status is now idle. Now click on this play button it will execute the command. Now install the required libraries and then we will restart the kernel. So you have to just click on OK. So wait for the kernel status to go idle again. So finally the kernel status is now idle. Now we will execute the remaining commands. So click on play button or here you have to update the project ID and region. So for updating it go to the lab instruction copy the project ID from here. And now after that update the region. So for region scroll down a bit and here you can see the region. Just update the region here. And now you can do one more thing click here. And just click on this play button or just use run selected cells on all below. So even after doing this you need to wait and sometimes you may face error. So I will tell you how you can recover from this error and get full score on this lab. So wait for it. So finally the kernel status is now idle. Now we'll move forward to the lab instruction. Let's see whether we get full score or not. So just keep hitting check my progress. You can even refresh the browser window. So again as you can see we didn't get full score. Now again hit check my progress. Wait for it. So as you can see we got score 
on all tasks except the last one so for that you have to just run the last task so that is very easy go to the task that is video image let me show you as you can see generate a text from video file this is the task so just click on this play button and click on run now wait for the kernel status to go idle Finally, the kernel status is idle. Now we'll move forward to the lab instruction and hit check with progress for all the tasks and see whether we get full score or not. So it's taking some time. Finally, we got full score within this lab and we are done with the lab. Do check the description and playlist for other labs. Thank you guys. Have a great day.